A lot of kids don't remember back in the 90s and early 2000s when I played in the NBA. Dads would come up and introduce me to their young kids as Steph Curry's dad. And I'll go, also Seth's dad. Neither of my sons met the eye test, but they met the heart test. They wanted to be the best players that they could be. They had a skill that every coach wants in a player, and that's to put the ball in the hole. So proud to be the first coach of the best shooter in the world. This is my first coach with Dell Curry, presented by Pixelot. We got some hoopers, some ballers. Dale Curry, the father, the broadcaster, the sniper. I will agree. I uh, had no idea I was going to be a broadcaster. Blessed to stay here in Charlotte. It's just so proud to be here at the Curry Court. It's a great opportunity to come here, hang out with the kids. Obviously, they know about Stefan and Seth, but they see the old guy walk through and tell them, hey, I'm the originator. I started all this. Let me show you what I taught my boys. So I get their attention right away. I was fortunate enough to play in an era where my son's growing up. They kind of knew what dad did. I wanted to make sure that they knew dad was going to work and not just playing a game. But when I went to work and worked on my game, they went along with me and worked on theirs. So I think that's why they're one of the best shooters in the world. Steph, I think, is the best shooter. And if you ask Seth, he would say he's 1A because they grew up battling each other in the backyard. I remember later in my career, when I'm in my 30s, I'm wake up, I'm going, oh, I got to work out. The kids are going, Dad, we're going to work out today? They both still have that work ethic. When I retired in 02, I was a big part of their high school coaching staff. Both super competitive from day one. We're doing anything it took to win, and now they both want to take clutch shots. Boom, good shot, good shot. Couple more. Parents ask me all the time, what's the one piece of advice that you could give me while my kids are growing up playing sports? And I'm like, film it, document it, keep it organized. I had the tripod set up in the corner. I had the camera on the shoulder looking through one lens. Fill the tape up and then I throw it in the drawer and now I'm looking for all that kind of footage, trying to get it together, trying to get it organized. If I could have pulled out my Pixelot camera or my phone and quickly got that shot, that two minute clip, it'd have been very valuable. Because my boys, again, didn't meet the eye test, I needed that valuable film footage to show coaches. When they were growing up, it just wasn't there. And if I had it, I could show a coach, say, hey, look at the skill set. Look at the shooting, look at the range, look at the feel for the game. All that would have made a big difference in their recruiting because they all wanted to play major D1 basketball. But if I would have been able to capture that footage, get it organized, piece it together, who knows what would have happened. But I think it all worked out. Stefan, I remember him playing in his JV team, and I was a big stickler of playing the game the right way. We're not going to hot dog on the floor. He was always a good ball handler and could do a lot of things, but we're going to play the right way. We're not going to take crazy shots. And I remember one time him coming down the left side. He went up to shoot. A defender came over, and he had to just hang in the air and kind of just flip it up behind his head, and he made it. And he could tell that that was a kind of a hot dog shot. And he looks over and says, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm like, man, I wish I'd have got that on camera. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Jump shot on the right. There you go. Yep. Good job, good job. If I find some of that footage of games back in the late 80s, early 90s, if you took 8, 10, 12 threes a game, teams and coaches would be like, what are they doing? Get the ball inside. Steph will take 15 threes a quarter now, so he's totally changed the game. I try to convince all my NBA coaches, hey, I need to take more of those guys that I played against where you threw the ball in, they required a double team. If they threw it out, then you could shoot a three. Coaches will allow their players to take threes at any point in time in the game. You see players have two-point shots, and you can see their brain thinking, oh, no, coach said I can't take a three. I either got to get in the lane for a layup or a dunk or shoot a three. And I blame Steph for all that. He changed the game forever. How does it feel like being the dad who taught the best shooter in the world how to shoot the ball? It's pretty impressive. Give myself a pat on the back for that one. I like that. He still has a lot of game left, they both do, but the fact that they listened to what I had to say early in my career, and now I get to return the favor and watch them, knowing that I was hands-on and helping them become the players that they are, the person that they are, I'm really proud of that. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.